Wise up and resist hate speech. Who was Jesus? Christians just don't want to know. It seems that they have little respect for Jesus and no interest in the truth. He's just an avatar unto whom they project their bigotry and hang-ups. Many regard him as straight, white, tall, blue-eyed, handsome, perfect and able-bodied, not based on any facts, just pure prejudice. The thought that he might have been gay or bisexual triggers outrage, cries of blasphemy, even threats of violence. The idea that he may have had acne, poor hygiene, a limp, bad breath, crushes their deceptively manicured image. But they have no facts, just the palette of their prejudices to paint the idol that they then worship. The archaeological information we do have suggests he would have been a short man with dark hair, dark eyes, dark skin and a Semitic appearance. Irenaeus describes Jesus as weak, Tertullian as ignoble, Celsus as short and ugly and the Acts of John as bald-headed. These early descriptions are a far cry from the sanitised sweet Jesus of Hollywood fame and Christian iconography. As to Jesus' sexuality, some clerics claim he was celibate. No facts, just their projection and need. Most state he was straight. No facts, just their projection and need. The early writings speak of Jesus' special love for John, the only male disciple present at his crucifixion, about whom Jesus' last words were to implore his mother to regard him as part of her family. Christian art shows John and Jesus physically close, John lying upon Jesus. James I, King of England, justified his own bisexuality, saying Jesus was gay. Jesus was also close to women. He broke custom and chatted alone with a woman. He stopped judgmental men from stoning a woman for adultery. At a dinner, a sex worker washed Jesus's feet, dried them with her hair and massaged them with oil. Jesus was close to and had a special love for Mary Magdalene, often kissing her. She too was at the crucifixion, the first at his grave and the first to experience his resurrection. His last words to her were, don't hold on to me, Mary because I have to go. It seems he could have been gay, straight, bisexual or celibate. All are possibilities. And frankly, it's of no concern to me, nor should it be to you. As people's sexuality was of no concern to Jesus. Be aware then, if your prejudices have led you to assume anything about Jesus, you might not be worshipping him but an idol you've carved out of your own bigotry. And Jesus could end up becoming the victim of your homophobia.